really takes everything out of you. It is mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually draining everything, all aspects of your life. Right now, this is incredibly hard for people struggling with eating disorders. Experts say isolation and secrecy are markers of eating disorders. I thought that it, people would think less of me, that they would see me, my value lower than they did before. Right now, as we're kind of forced into a, a type of isolation that is going to also trigger our mirror neurons are going to trigger that same type of isolation. And a loss of routine can make their day to day even more difficult. We have this situation where there's such a, a tiny amount of control or, or no control at all. There's this large unknown, this vast unknown. But experts say the data proves finding ways to make connections helps healing. Connection has been one of the the leading factors in addiction research and addiction recovery, as well as eating disorder recovery. So connection is so, so, so important. And so finding connection with someone, at least one other person. The number one thing is to not be afraid to ask for help. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Asking for help used to mean making an appointment and visiting the therapist's office in person. But now with telehealth options available, experts believe more people will feel comfortable seeking treatment. I think that the barrier of like going to a therapy office and waiting in a therapy waiting room is gone now. And so it might just be talking to somebody over over Zoom and that might feel a lot less intimidating. Experts believe this will help combat some of the stigma those with eating disorders face, especially men. Therapy is talking to people, it's connecting, it's learning skills. Um, all the scary stuff that we've we've envisioned around that has been taken away through teletherapy that really we're just, we're, we're talking to someone else and we're connecting. Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.